Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sadna from Sadna's Flavors. Yes, guys, you know it. I'm sure you probably didn't hear from me in a while. It's been a month. Um, I do apologize regarding that. You know, sometimes you need that moment for yourself and that time off. And I did that. Um, I took that special time off for myself together. You know, myself together. And um, I think everyone should if they need it. Um, it's very, very good for you to, you know, your well-being, your health, your mindset, you know, so everyone should take that time off if they do need it. And I did that and I feel amazing. Okay. Now we are going to continue doing this. I'll do my best to upload videos for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy my, um, food, my recipes, my ingredients, my, my cooking, my flavors, and my take on things okay um everyone has a different mindset in regarding food you know different flavors different however they cook you know but this is i'm showing you my way all right um if you guys haven't subscribed yet please do like share um comment i love comments i love little feedbacks all right so today we got a really 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 great recipe today um today we're doing chicken fritters um, guys, I have some chicken breast here that I cut up into bite-sized pieces. You'll also need mozzarella cheese, freshly grated, mayonnaise, good mayonnaise, not the light mayonnaise, not the skim good mayonnaise. You need the maximum flavor out of it. These are, this is fresh dill, black pepper. I have some yellow and orange um, bell peppers. I have two eggs, flour, salt. All right, guys, simple ingredients, very simple things that you already have in your pantry or around your house that you're using already. Um, it's not that complex. All right, so we're going to put this simple recipe together, maximum flavor, and I will show you the next step. All right, I'll show you guys how I put all of this together. See you then. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to show you how we incorporate all of these ingredients that I introduced earlier into this meat. All right, now. We have some mayonnaise. We're gonna add our mayonnaise in here. Mayonnaise gives it that creamy texture and a little bit of hint of flavor. All right. Now we have our mozzarella cheese. I love that gooey, gooey feeling when you break into it. Feels good. Dill. Put those in. Peppers. I love the bell peppers. It gives it a little crunch and a little bit of flavor as well. Our flour. Okay. Salt. Don't put too much, guys. Um, eggs. But not least our pepper. Okay, black pepper. I like the freshly uh, ground black pepper only because it um it has more flavor than the one that you buy in the little container. Um, you can even smell it as it's grinding. You can smell that black that pepper. It's really really good. All right, now we're gonna gently. Hold this together. We're going to mix it very, very well. We're going to incorporate all of this together, combine it. Don't this look good? I can't wait to fry this up and eat it. It's so good. This is really great for like a, um, like a get together or like a party or an appetizer, things like that. Um, if you guys want in a day, summertime, any occasion, you guys could make this. Make sure you stir this very well. Make sure the egg especially is combined in this very, very well. All right. And the cheese. 
gets coated. The flour especially gets mixed through very well. This dill is going to give it such an amazing flavor as well. Guys, we do fresh stuff here, you know. We will do, um, you know, dry seasoning at times when it's needed. But for this ingredient, for this recipe here, I think great. Uh, it'll be great to put fresh ingredients in here. All right, guys. I think this is pretty good. Okay. Now, we have to cover this up and let it sit for about two hours or so to have it cool and everything come together. And then we're going to pan fry this, okay? We're going to shallow fry it. We're not dunking it in a ton of oil or anything like that. We're just going to shallow. It's called shallow fry, okay? And I'll show you what that is. So that will be my next step, okay? Guys, pop this in the fridge for about two hours. After two hours, take it out and we are ready to start frying, all right? And so I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to show you guys how we fry these fritters up, these chicken fritters. All right, I have two spoons here. I'm going to scoop it out like so. Okay, the oil is hot. Spread it out, okay? Don't be afraid. Just spread it out. Make it as big as you want, small as you want. Flatten it out so it gets cooked very evenly, okay? do a few it don't have to be in perfect um circles guys it don't really need it to be that way all right i like to do in small batches because it cooks you know gets cooked evenly and the pan is not um the temperature on the pan is not going to go go down you know so here we go we're gonna fry those two first We're gonna let it go. Don't that look good? It looks really, really good. Can you guys see? Hopefully. There we go. Perfect. Now I have a pan, uh, a plate here with some uh, paper towel to drain the excess oil off as this is done. All right, so this is starting to fry up, okay? All right, guys, I have the one here that's almost done, all right? Now, in order for you to know how to flip them, just flip them up. Flip it up. Look at it. Don't be afraid. Just look at it on underneath. If it's the color that you want, then you flip them, okay? When it gets golden brown, then you flip them and you cook them on the other side. If you see some spots are not brown, guys, you can always flip them, move them around, toss them around, like I'm doing right now. I like a lot of crisp on the edges. I like it crispy. All right, I have one frying here. I am ready to flip this bad boy. There we go, perfect. See that? All right. I'm gonna let this side cook. Like I said, don't crowd the pan because you need room to move these around if you have to. All right. I have this on medium high heat, guys, not too high because we want the chicken inside to cook as well. All right. So I'm going to fire the rest of these up and I'll show you guys the finished product. See you then. All right, guys, welcome back. I finished frying all of this up, the fritters, the chicken fritters, and this is the end product, okay? All right, we're gonna break into one of these and I'll show you guys. It's still hot. I don't know if you can still see the steam coming out of it. This is very hot, but I'm gonna break into it so I can show you guys what it looks like inside, okay? Can you guys see that? The meat is fully cooked. Everything looks good. Everything is, this is very hot. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to hold this, all right? The meat is fully cooked. This is why you need to dice it very, very uh, small, like itty bitty bite size pieces. And you don't put a lot and make it thick because it will take longer to cook through, okay? You might have to finish it out in the oven if you, if you want to, if you want to make it thicker, okay? But I like them a little thin because all, you know, the chicken lays flat and it gets cooked evenly on both sides, all right? 
So this is our end product here. It looks really, really good, really yummy. All right, I have some mayonnaise here. You can have it with that um, and some lemon. If you guys feel like you wanna squeeze a little bit of lemon on that, you can do that, all right? We'll give this a taste. Oh my gosh, it's hot, 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 hot. Okay. Mmm. Wow. That mayonnaise, when you add it to this, you can taste everything. You can taste the bell pepper, you can taste the dill, the chicken is fully cooked, it has that golden brown on both sides. Man, this is awesome. This is really awesome. I hope you guys try my recipe. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. If you have not, a wonderful day. Um, stay safe. But please do, if you do try this, um, send me a picture. Let me know what it tastes like. Let me know if you love it. I do. I'm sure you guys will. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like, share, comment. Thank you so much for your support and all the love. And guys, I do promise, like I said, I took some time off uh, to just gather myself together. And I think, like I said, everyone needs that. And if you do, please do take it, you know. Worry about yourself. Worry about your health because that comes first. All right? So this is amazing. All right, guys. I will definitely see you guys in the next one, okay? Take care of yourself.